Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Jenny and today I have a large exciting Dollar Tree haul to share with you. Everything I picked up is brand new. If you want to keep up to date on what is new at the Dollar Tree, then be sure you always check out the Come With Me to the Dollar Tree videos that I post throughout the week because I do go to multiple stores to show you what is new and what to look out for. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram or TikTok, I'll go ahead and link that down below. Also, if you'd like to share a picture of your fur baby, scale baby, or even your feather baby, you can do so through Instagram. And I've been trying to add a few of those pictures at the end of my videos. Now, if you are new, welcome. For those that are returning, welcome back. In my hauls, I like to open the products. I love to um, show you up close. I give you my honest opinion. And if I'm able to try it out right there and then, I do so. So with all that said, let me dive in and let me show you on what I purchased. So first off, I can always find so many amazing books at the Dollar Tree. I picked up three of these, one for my son's friend, one for Ava and one for Alex. This is the official Fortnite Battle Journal. Yes, journal. So if you have someone that likes to play Fortnite, this is perfect for them. So many different things to fill out take note on. So yeah, that was a really cool item. This is so cute. This is a wax warmer. I have never noticed something like this at the Dollar Tree and this depth and detail, I guess. And the yellow just like pops. So there you have little bees on there. Now you do not have to use it at with, you know, as a wax warmer. You can add like a little bird in there, put some greenery in there, um, put a little flower or something on the top. Um, where is my... Oh, and another thing I like to do on my channel is to measure things because it's always hard to tell what how big something is when you're showing them. Um, so this is about four inches tall and about three inches wide. But yeah, I think that is really, really cute. I like that. Okay, these are really cool. I'm going to do something different with them because I'm not crazy about the pictures on them. But these are tiny little, like, jars that you would see in a kitchen or something with different spices or something they have a lid that have a cork around there now this does tend to get stuck i think i'm sure you can always take let me see if i can take this off i'm sure you can yeah you can take that right off there if you didn't want that rubber thing on there now it makes the lid a little bit loose but this would be something cute to paint do your own thing put different decals on it or whatever if you have one of those crickets or whatever those things are called you can paint these and make um different like do your initials or um buy three of them and paint them like red and green and write joy on them have greenery coming out of them have a little santa popping out or something just always trying to think outside the box for you guys to try to use these products in a different way than what they were probably meant for um so like i said there's four different ones so they have the love they have the gray rooster they have the red bless blessings and then the green uh, cactus. Now let's see how tall these little boogers are. And they are three and a half inches and they are two and a half inches wide. So that gives you an idea. Like I said, this be something cute for joy. Do a red, green, red. Yeah, red, green, red, or green, red, white, you know, or I don't know, or like for a wedding, put Mr. and Mrs. on them or something. I'm just, just trying to give you guys ideas. Okay. Okay. Speaking of Christmas, um, I did pick up some Christmas items. Now I know it's only fall. People are like, oh my God, I can't believe they have Christmas out. I'm, I'm not going to buy any. No, it's totally fine. I'm with you on that. Okay. But don't come whining to me when you're like, I can't find it now. Yeah. You see something you like and it's going to be something that you're going to want buy it right now. I know they have Halloween, they have fall and Thanksgiving and now Christmas, but you know, a lot of stores are doing that now. A lot of star stores, Target, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joanne Fabrics, more and more stores are getting more and more items out on the floor way before they should. Back in my day, you never seen one Christmas item on that floor until the day after Thanksgiving. Black Friday is when you would see the Christmas trees and all the Christmas lights out on the floor at different stores. So yes, times have changed. I understand that. But just 
let me know if you see something you like, get it. I, hear, I guarantee you these are two that are gonna fly off the shelf. I bought two of each and my hair is driving me nuts. This is the Crafter Square Decorative Mesh. This is six inch by five yards. They have the black and white Buffalo Checker. Well, actually they're lines and then the black and red. So let me go ahead and open this. Okay, you can use them for wreaths. You can use them for backgrounds of things. Oh, it is checkered. Okay, I was wrong. So look at that. For a dollar. A dollar, you guys. Can't go wrong. It smells like a firework. It smells like a, 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 a spinner. That's what it smells like. Chemical. Oh my God, it's a chemical. You're going to die. Okay. What's that? Something just crawled on me. Okay. A few other Christmas items are these. These are so cute. First, I just bought the snowman, and then a couple days later, I'm like, oh, you know what, just get the other two because they're so cute. These, right here. They're, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I thought I poked a hole in you. But here is a, they don't have ears, they can't listen. They're, it's been a long day, you guys. But look, you take the little thingy maneuver out, you turn it on, let me turn off my light, so you get a better idea and they change colors so green blue it changes all that but look how cute that is you set this out on a shelf put some fake snow um i just think those are really really cute see if i didn't have my ring lights how dull and icky it is okay since i have the lights off i'm going to show you the elf not too crazy on the elf the face is kind of creepy looking looks like the clown from polar geist but again it changes colors and I don't know, not digging the face. And then they have the Santa. So let me take the little stopper off, turn it on. You have the red body. Look how cute that is, you guys. Come on, you know that's cute. You know that's cute. So you then turn on the lights. Let's turn on the lights. It's like tanning bed light. But yeah, these are super duper cute. Snowman's my favorite, but you know, I got the elf, you know, I might take the face off and do something else because I don't want that staring at me all hot during the holidays. Too creepy. Yeah. Just when I seen it change colors, I'm like, yeah, I like it. Okay, a few other items that is new this year. As you know, they have a lot of the plastic DIY balls. So now they have ornament fillers. You get a three pack. So, and these are by Crafter Square. So you have the stars. And then you have that, and then the red and white little circles. Now, for those that do resin or stuff like that, that you use glitter or the sparkly stuff, this is perfect for that. Again, I will be doing resin stuff. I'll be making keychains and coasters. I'll be doing a lot of stuff, and I know my daughters um, want to make some as well. So I thought this stuff would be perfect for that. This one, you have snowflakes, the iridescent, and silver. Now it does not give the size on how much you get. Now this pack is pretty heavy, so you get a good amount of this stuff. So this one, you have the red, white, and the green. And these are pretty heavy. And then the last one are these right here. You have the little sticker bead things to put on your, is it Holly's? I'm not sure. And then you have that, and then that. So yeah, that is really, really cool that they came out with those if you'd like to do those ornaments, but you can always use them for other things. Um, I bought a couple of tumblers. I think that's what these are called, the fall ones. I think they had four different ones. I just picked up two. So of course I had to get the red truck that says, hello fall. I am a, a, a hall freak. Yes, I already have my house decorated for fall. And then this one I thought was cute because I really like the pumpkins and the blue. It says, pick of the patch. So yeah, and these wash up really nice. Now I do recommend you wash them by hands. Do not put them in the dishwasher unless you want them to shrink and get all crooked and nasty. So that is that. Um, let's see, this was very interesting. I thought it was like a spatula thing. I'm like, what's this doing over here by the nail? Like fingernails and nail polish. This thing right here. It is a stone sugar file by Onyx Professional. Double-sided, easy to grip. Hold grip. Look at that. Look how big that, that thing's huge. Did I tell you how 
up. I didn't tell you how long these are, how tall these are. Did I? I am sorry. Um, this is four inches. These are four inches tall. Okay, so they have this funky thing. Now, I've been using the Dove Intense Cream that you can get at the Dollar Tree on my feet. Um, my feet would be so dry, so cracked, they would snag. Yes, my feet, my heels would snag on the carpet. That's how disgusting my feet were. I had a motorized file thing. I would sit there and just have all the... I know it's gross. But I came across the Dove Intense Cream and I put that on my feet every time I get out of the shower. And it's like I have baby soft feet. No joke. But this might come in handy for those emergencies. If I just have a moment and go barefooted outside down the street or whatever and then it rips up your feet and that is ooh but doesn't that look like a spatula let me turn on my foot not bad it's the same grid Gr ooh. on the no that's weird but that is a good size and i'm i'm, I'm assuming that is name brand because it's some fancy packaging um this is nine inches nine inches so yeah, okay, moving on. A few other items to show you. Now these are not new. I bought these, I think it was the beginning of the year, maybe? Hmm, not 100% sure. But these are the, um, like this one, it's the Chalk Rider. They have them in different colors. These work amazing. I love these. Um, these are good for chalkboards, dry erase boards, windows, glass, mirror, ceramic, and metal. I got the white one. These are really, really nice. I don't think I have. I guess I could probably write on the jar. This is what the tip looks like. I'll just put a smiley face on here. Let's see if you, I don't know if you guys can see. The lid's gonna come off. But you see right there. And if you wipe it off fairly quickly, you'll be able to just wipe it off if you made a mistake. But these are, what did I do with the lid? See, look at that. I only moved my leg and I, oh, there it is. So that I like, that's a repeat buy. And then the other item that I like is the Forever in Time Metallic Marker. This is a fine tip. It is um, a fine tip, acid free. And this is ideal, great for card making, scrapbooking and DIY craft projects. It's designed to give you a st striking metallic effect visible on all backgrounds, even black. Use on paper, cardstock, plastic, cloth, metal, wood, ceramic, glass, and more. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this. Again, this is a repeat buy. I love these. And that is what that looks like. Again, let me take my lid here and I will write hi. Hi. See how nice that writes? Oh. Yeah, I love these. And these are usually hanging on plastic strips. Now, not all of them, I guess. And there are some on the hooks, but mainly on the plastic strips. So be sure you check those out. Don't overlook those. Okay. I've been collecting these different science projects for my two youngest to do. So I will be doing a video of them trying all these different products out in a video to show you if they work or not. Some of you have already tried them or watched other channels and they say, oh, that didn't work. Um, so we'll see. This is the Science by Me Energy Sand Test Tube. Sand that won't stick to your hands. Mold it, sculpt it, watch it flow. Ages six and up. And it looks like it's blue. I'm not going to open it because I'm going to wait for the kids to do it. So there's the back. And then the other thing they had is the Magic Orbs Test Tube. Over 40 sparkling um, beads which these are real tiny. They had a different pack before, like years ago. And I remember doing a video on that. And oh my gosh, they grow really big and they stay mushy for years. But yeah, these do work. I know for sure these work. Um, eyelashes. Now, you know, they carry the brand. Is it Ani? Tony? Ani? Something like that. Um, so many different eyelashes. Lengths, thicks, color, just you name it. I can't wear eyelashes. I mean, I barely can... I hardly have any, but I was able to find the um, Lash Glue. This is 100% vegan and it is Everlasting Lash, well, glue. Great glue. 
for your eyelashes. Aren't you afraid those things are, I mean, this isn't like super glue, right? I mean, I, I, I don't know. I've worn, I wore um, eyelashes one time in my life. If I still have the picture on my phone, I might have it. I'll, I'll put it right here. When I was the Jim Beam girl for the Indy 500, that's when I had to wear fake eyelashes and oh, it's horrible. But here is the glue. I'm gonna sniff it. I know I shouldn't, but you know. Oh my goodness gracious. You wanna put that on your eyeball? But there is the tip. It's like a paintbrush. Ew, that stinks. I wouldn't want that on my eye. But my daughter wears fake eyelashes, so I'm like, you know, I'll give it to her. Because I know she really likes the lashes. Um, I buy her a lot of the lashes. So I figured, hey, why not buy the glue? Vegan. Okay, a couple other items. Uh, my daughter Ava likes to use this color on her inner eye. This is the Beauty Benefits Color Squad Eyeshadow, and it is uh, sugar. It's like a white. Now I'll go ahead and open it. I wear like a kind of a brown eyeshadow, very neutral color, but she likes using this color, so that's what that looks like. Yeah, gives it some shine. It's not real white, but yeah, I just got that for her, so I thought I'd show you. Okay, two other items. This is the California Scent Paper Air Fresheners. And you get three, yes, three of them. So I was trying to, it, it, it has a scratch and sniff sticker, but I can't, I couldn't smell because I had my mask on. So let's, I hope it doesn't stink. Then my room's going to stink if it does. Eh, it smells like a squishy. That's what it smells like. I don't even know what the scent's supposed to be. Did it even say? No, I don't think it even has a scent. California Crush. Interesting. But yeah, I mean, it's a cool holder in that. But really, I think it, it smells like a slow rising squishy. I mean, the more that I sniff it, it smells like squishy. But you get three of them. I think that's a great deal. And the last item I picked up. My son loves doing puzzles. Actually, let me see if I can. Oh, I have my container on there. Gosh darn it, I can't show you. But um, he likes to do their puzzles. And this one is a 50 piece. He's working on a 350 piece right now. This is ages six and up. I love the tin. Now, mostly these are usually 25 to 35 pieces, but I was able to find a 50 piece. Um, he puts these um, puzzles together and I use uh, Mod Podge. You don't have to buy the expensive puzzle glue if you don't want to, just use some Mod Podge. I put them on a piece of cardboard, well, poster board from the Dollar Tree and did two coats on top and then two coats on the bottom and there you go. And I glued six of them on a piece of cardboard. If I can remember, I'll show you here at the end. Um, but these tins are really cute. If you take your puzzle out and you do glue them or whatever, these tins are really nice to keep in your car or in your purse or diaper bag. Put some band-aids or some moist wipes, you know, little packets or a little nail file or something like an emergency kit. And these little tints. And if you don't like the design, go ahead and, and decorate it yourself. Paint it one color and add stickers to it. Make your, make your own thing. That'll even be something cute to make up for a gift or some sort. So that, my subby friends, is everything that I bought at my Dollar Tree. So I hope I was able to show you something that maybe you can go find at one of your local stores. If you want, go ahead and comment down below and let me know if I showed you something that you're hoping you're able to find. And I always forget to tell you where my shirt is. This is a sweater. I got this last year on clearance, of course, at American Eagle. I have it in a, quite a few different colors. Very loose fitting. I love it. It's like a taupe khaki color with a black stripe. Buttons right here. Very loose fitting. Very comfortable. Plus, I always buy my stuff extra large. I just like my stuff baggy. I don't like things clinging to me. Um, for those that I forgot to tell you guys. For those that like friends, I know a lot of you are 
Friends fans. I am. I am just a huge Friends fan. I came across um, an ad somewhere that Hot Topic, yeah, Hot Topic, they have blind bags of Friends keychains and metal pins like you wear. Um, I took a couple of screenshots. I'll add them right here. Now, I usually wait till they're on sale for like 20 or 30% off. So I think they sell for $6.99 or $8.99. So I wait till they're like five bucks. But they have series one and series two, you guys. Oh my gosh, I was so excited. I mean, I haven't been to the mall since last year. So I might order it online. I'm not quite sure. But yeah, I just thought I'd give you guys a heads up. Oh, what else? Oh, they actually had a quite a bit of stuff of friends. So if you go to hottopic.com and just type in friends and you will see a slew of stuff. They have tumblers, they have purses, they have coin purses, they have stickers. They have so much stuff, so I'm not, I'm excited to um, buy a few of those. So, yeah, I just want to throw that in here. So, as always, I want to say thank you for always taking the time out of your day to stop and watch my videos. So, I hope you all have a wonderful, beautiful, safe day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Keep smiling. Bye.